This is a copyrighted work. Unauthorized copying or distribution is a crime punishable by up to five years in prison and a fine of $250,000. Scholastic Audio presents Catching Fire The Hunger Games Book 2 by Suzanne Collins Read by Tatiana Maslany Part 1. The Spark Chapter 1 I clasp the flask between my hands even though the warmth from the tea has long since leached into the frozen air. My muscles are clenched tight against the cold. If a pack of wild dogs were to appear at this moment, the odds of scaling a tree before they attacked are not in my favor. I should get up move around and work the stiffness from my limbs. But instead, I sit, as motionless as the rock beneath me, while the dawn begins to lighten the woods. I can't fight the sun. I can only watch helplessly as it drags me into a day that I've been dreading for months. By noon, they will all be at my new house in the Victor's Village. The reporters, the camera crews, even Effie Trinket, my old escort, will have made their way to District 12 from the Capitol. I wonder if Effie will still be wearing that silly pink wig, or if she'll be sporting some other unnatural color, especially for the victory tour. There will be others waiting, too. A staff to cater to my every need on the long train trip. A prep team to beautify me for my public appearances. My stylist and friend, Sinna, who designed the gorgeous outfits that first made the audience take notice of me in The Hunger Games. If it were up to me, I would try to forget The Hunger Games entirely, never speak of them, pretend they were nothing but a bad dream. But the victory tour makes that impossible. Strategically placed almost midway between the annual games, it is the capital's way of keeping the horror fresh and immediate. Not only are we in the districts forced to remember the iron grip of the capital's power each year, we are forced to celebrate it. And this year, I... Sample complete. Ready to continue?